channel. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Fire out to the channel that brings you the best and the best of a base sporting analysis, fans reaction, pre and post match reaction, and match in depth analysis. And don't forget we're on all social media platforms on Facebook, Fire out to 931 on TikTok, Fire out to 931 on Twitter, now known as X. Fan House 931, and thank you for staying glued to our YouTube channel. Fan House 931, we will give you the best and the full version of our production. Like I said, don't just watch our videos, we want you to comment in the comment section so that we can know how to improve on our production. And of course, on the subject matter, don't forget to catch our series of programs that we have coming our way every Monday. Chelsea Corner with Official Ola. I myself am the host on that production. I bring you in depth analysis, managerial tactics on Chelsea. Or every Monday, don't forget to catch EY on Tactical Crossfire as it gives you in depth managerial tactics on how coaches actually fit during a match. And every Tuesday, with Charles on Niger Corner, is there to give you updates on how our Nigeria boys have fed over the week. And we have fresh updates all the way from Galatasaray, all the way in Turkey, as one of our senior man did the ball. And we actually witnessed him in the last match against Kassan Pass. I actually hauled off in the 46 minutes due to injuries. Uh, that day was a, actually a magical day for us as we saw him actually get on the score sheet after having a goal drought after playing about uh, four matches with them and hasn't scored a goal and that day was a moment of magic for us as we saw him score two goals against Kassim Pasa, a team that had Kenneth O'Meara, one of his senior brothers in that uh, team and it was a bitter sweet moment for us like I said uh, prior to that match he has actually played three times for the Galatasaray side creating assist and upon assist but this guy no great score but regardless that they didn't break the yoke as he got on the score sheet. This is just score one. He scored a brace in that game. If he, if he had actually completed that game, probably would have actually seen an Osimhen's first archery for the Galatasaray side. But regardless, like I said, he actually scored two goals. But the bad news on that day was that he was actually hold off. And in preparation for the AFCON, you understand, like I said, it's our talisman. And a lot of Nigerians has been asking us for now also of updates us to Victor Osimhen's injury progress. Like I said, there was no official... Uh, report yet, but now the uh, Galatasaray actually come outside to do an official statement regarding Victor Osimhen's injury. And let me read that statement for you. According to Galatasaray's uh, media page, they said the treatment of our player Victor Osimhen, who felt pain in his upper left posterior muscle during the Kasimpasa match in week seven of the Trendall Super League, and was diagnosed with a strain and minor bleeding in the muscle group after examinations at our sponsors. Hospital Medicina has actually begun. This is to buttress what we have been saying that uh, the medications, the, the recovery process of Victor Osimhen has actually begun. And according to official report, uh, it is not going to be a long term injury as they are going to take precaution. And the precaution motive they are going to trade is to make him sit out the next match, their match which eight. Osimhen is not going to be available for Galatasaray, but there are still doubt as to whether it will be available for call-up to the Nigerian call-up list. Like we said, uh, our match, we have a match against Libya, both here in Uyo and in Tripoli in Libya. And it's a two-legged fixture, like I said, and uh, Osimha has not had the best uh, best run of games for the Super Eagles over the time. We saw his saga with Fendidi, and now, thankfully, he's back and he actually scored against Benin Republic. He didn't actually score against Rwanda because of the transfer saga and everything. He was, actually, he was not actually even starting matches, but now he's available and fit to start matches. So, this is a match that all Nigeria want to actually see him start and get on the score sheet. But regardless, like I said, uh, there's doubt whether he will be available for those matches. Like I said, Osime is actually a stubborn person, if, if everybody agrees with me. I think the, the one of the things that we are, we are failing to understand, the good thing is, he has a recovery injury. And thankfully, this is not part of those recovery injuries. So, like I said, it's just a minor strain, minor bleeding, as reporters actually said. You know, we actually brought you a report as to that, uh, that motive that the unfit uh, the unfit examination by the physios then was him to miss out two weeks of football. But now there's a there's a, our official report that is going to only miss one match if it is not that serious. And they're, they're advising Nigerian Super Eagles to actually drop this guy making rest regardless. Of it. So they don't actually pay for a loan deal. And they, uh, in my own perspective, I don't think Libya would be a tough tax for us. You understand? So if it is a good one, if Oyster Nagravon actually can get the right call up list, I don't think. Victor Simeon should actually be into this lineup, you understand, into this call-up list so that he can actually see this one out, so that he can actually recover well. I think it will do more good for us when he's fully fit than we taking a half-baked Victor Simeon to, to, to a Tripoli in Libya. But regardless, this is the news we say we should bring to you that Victor Simeon's injury is not a long-term one. It is just a precautionary one. And according to Galatasaray's official report, he's going to sit out just a 
match they can actually examine his progress and i think it's a good one you understand because we don't want to see him on the sidelines remember that uh, his transfer his future is not still yet sorted out he went to galatasaray because of match fitness you understand Balatasaray was never his first choice. So I've seen some of his colleagues actually come out to say that uh, his preference was actually to go to Premier League. We saw Boniface granting an interview to say that uh, the Christmas preference is to go to the Premier League. But regardless, he finds himself in Turkey. And like I said, he's still a Napoli player regardless. So he's still one of the crazy transfers we still need to look out for regardless of how it actually pans out. So we need a Victor Osime fit so that he can actually uh, decide his future. No club wants to sign an injuring player regardless. So Victor, we want to wish you good luck in your recovery process. And left to me, if you listen to me, let's keep Victor Simeon fit. Let him sit out this international call-up. I think one of the things the, 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 the physios of Galatas are actually scared of is his availability for the national side. That if Nigeria can actually do them a favor and let him relax, you must stand with NY match day week seven. They still have two fixtures before the international break in the Europa League and in the league. So there's a possibility that he might actually sit out the Europa League and future in the league is still a consideration if he feature if he misses the europa league and features in the league and his feet no problem nigeria can go ahead but regardless they don't want him stressed stressed up and down as the feet say now delicate moment for victor Simi in his career and he should not be stressed he should be given the time to rest and that is what we say we should bring to you you know final also we have always pride ourselves on bringing you fresh update like i said want to be the second or third to report it want to be the first point of where you actually heard it from and that is all for me on this production don't forget like i said follow us on all our social media platforms on facebook final with 931 on tiktok final with 931 and of course on youtube final with 931 we'll be say we'll bring you the we won't get gist as they be victor sime is going to be out for just a match regardless of how the team take goes say they want monitor in progress so and they, they beg nigeria say i beg no matter what you guys do can you actually try and sit him out of these uh, matches against Libya? You understand? I think this is not the first time uh, uh, clubs on the talk say, okay, uh, a player may not actually go. But I think Galatasaray are actually doing it in the right way. They are urging Nigerians to actually take it, take a look, you understand, from each of our boys. But regardless, I want to say good luck to Victor Sime. Sit, rest, and relax so that you will get you freshed up and pumped up for your transfer. Mode. If not general, you know what I like. Now, summer, any it won't be Victor Sime. Wish you good luck. And thank you for staying with me. I still remain official. See you next time.